Hey there, Jules of Guitar Jules, back with another guitar lesson for you. Today we're going to be looking at the rhythm style of the legend Dimebag Dowell. Uh, amazing guitarist, I was a big fan, taken far too soon unfortunately. There will be a part two as well coming up that will be looking at a little bit of his lead kind of style and techniques. But this today is my tribute, if you like, to his rhythm style. So lots of chromatic, nasty sounding power chords, squealing blues notes, uh, so we've got some nasty diminished stuff in there and some minor third kind of power chords. Everything that the man was, uh, was famous for. Okay, so the first thing I've got going on is just an E power chord. So second fret on A, second fret on D, and then you open E string, and I'm heavily palm muting with the right hand. climbing up this kind of diminished minor thirds idea. So I'm sliding to the sixth fret on the E string. Then I play four, seven on the A. And then I skip across to the eight on the D string. It's a bit awkward to play. You can use your little finger. I just skip my ring finger across. So. kind of nasty power chord thing. So I'm just keeping my open E and then I'm playing a power chord or C power chord, 8th fret, E string, down to the B, 7th fret, and I jump down to 5 and slide to 6 or the blues note in E. from six to five, with that open E in between, and then slide from four back to five. So it's really kind of nasty sounding chromatic stuff going on. Going on. And then, classic kind of dime bag style. Just chug the open E, uh, sorry, the open E power chord again. Slide to seven on E, to six, down to three. A little bit of a pinched harmonic and lots of vibrato. Then six, five, down to two. So I'm walking it down chromatically, something Dimebag was really well known for. I do this in songs like Five Minutes Alone. And then up to eight and seven, down to the F, first fret. So slowly. Nasty. Okay, then it repeats that whole section. And the only thing that changes is I take that diminished idea along to the A string. So the third time round we'll be going seven on A, five on D, eight on D, to nine on G. And then same power chord climb down. So that section just loops. Play both sections and sections again, and then the third time round. Take that diminished idea up to the A string. And then continue. Then we go into section B, as I call it, where we go. So we're playing E again. Now rather than going to a just a G power chord, we go to G here with a minor third. So we put the B flat note in it. 
which as you probably know, is the blues note from E, which is the flat five that sounds terrifying. Metallica, Black Sabbath, Megadeth, everybody. Everybody uses the flat five. So we're putting it in, Dimebag will put it in with the G there. So you're playing third fret E, first fret A. Back to E, then then I run down F sharp, F to E, power chord. Second fret, first fret, back to E. So we got. First time, then second time. B power chord. And I take my middle finger to the G note above, third fret E. And then on the F, so slowly. So this is a great idea. Bands like Slayer and Anthrax have been using that kind of climb down for years, but Dimebag put a power chord in. And he would use that idea, which is really cool. So the next time round, same riff. Then I slide two to four on the G string, catch my open E, back to that four, then take it down to the blues note, third fret G, jump across to open E and back again. So that's just a kind of another nasty sound, kind of from the idea of this technique he does in uh, By Demons Be Driven, I think it is. Okay, and then the last time. Super nasty climb up. So we play the riff. Pull off three to zero on E string. Five to seven, then play six. Seven, six on the A string. So I'm going from blue scale to harmonic minor into natural minor whilst catching the blues note again and then I finish off on the G on the G string so 12th fret so it's 7 8 on A 7 9 8 on D and that's the whole lot Okay, so if you got this far, thanks for looking. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And uh, I shall see you on the next one for some Dimebag style lead work.